So I have read a few books that I thought that we could do, but I came up with a more fun idea. Yes, how exciting. Um, so you have read both Crescent City 1 and 2, yeah? Yes. It has been a while though, right? Yeah, it's been, uh, let's see. Oh my God, when was that? Yeah, it was 2022. Okay. Yeah, that's when I first read them too. Because I think you read them first and then you're like, you guys have to read this. Yeah, Um, it was end of 2022, it looks like, or in the middle. Okay. So I thought we could talk about some of the theories I have after rereading them. So this is going to contain a ton of spoilers. If you haven't read like any Sarah J Moss books, definitely don't watch this video. Um, Spoiler alert times like a thousand. But they're so exciting that I have to talk about them because the third book comes out in January, January 30th, I think. Yeah, the very end. Yeah. So do you have any theories? I have three, three main ones. I just have, I just see them online or whatever on book talk. And then I'm like, oh, I didn't really think of that. But I don't, I don't have my own theories, I I would say, but I do see a lot of them. Okay. So my main theory, my first one that I think is like irrefutable going to happen. I think Reese's last name is Dannon. I think it has I, know, to. I feel like they're definitely related somehow. Yeah. Okay. Because um, Rune is like basically the prince of the autumn court in Midgard, right? So like he's in royalty. So I feel like that must have gotten passed down for generations. Like they must have contained or like sustained being in power. But then what really solidified it was first when he was in, oops, finish off the text. When he was in like the mind land with Day and his automatically mm-hmm. just like um, automatic like presentation was the nighttime and stars. You mm-hmm. know? Yeah. So that was my first time I was like, hmm, I feel like they have to be like he's connected somehow because as Sarah J. Moss puts like kind of like cookies like that, like Easter eggs that I feel like turn into me more in the future. And then when Bryce went to the realm with um, Akatar, she saw Rysand and was like, Rune? Like, they looked that similar that she, like, questioned yeah. that was him initially. And he turns into the knight. Yeah. Like, in his, I don't know what they call it. I've been reading too much Light in the Flame stuff, but, like, uh, his primal form or whatever. Yeah. Is the night sky, basically. Mm-hmm. And he's like, um, he like sinks or like is drawn towards the star sword or the star sword, you know, he's like mm-hmm. star, I forget the name of it, but I read it twice. I should know this, but um, he's starborn. So like, mm-hmm. I think that has to play into it somehow too, but definitely my first theory that I think has to be true is that Reese's last name is Dannon. Yeah. Second theory is that Throne of Glass will come into play too somewhere, somehow. I think so too. Right? Okay, so there's so many mentioned of like the markings and word marks and gates that I just feel that she, like Sarah J. Moss when I have written these stories that could intertwine so well and not bring in Aelin or Rowan too, you know? Yeah. Yeah, because Aelin was like one of my Probably one of my favorite characters other than Rysan. I think probably my second favorite. So she's for sure she's the strongest in. character. She's probably my favorite too. Like favorite main character for sure. Mm-hmm. But also probably one of my top favorites. Um, she's like a cool mix of like badass but relatable, but also like cutthroat, but also nice. Mm-hmm. She's funny too. Yeah, that, I mean, I think that series is so underrated. That story, I think the storyline in general is probably the best out of all of them so far. Yeah, it's a good, it's long, but it's super good. I wish that Akatar was more books because I feel like you could have gotten into more like detail and whatnot too. Yeah. I will say though that Akatar, the books are bigger than 
Throne of Glass. There's a lot of smaller books for Tog than, I mean, Silver Flames is like two books of Throne of Glass. Crescent City is big too. Like those books are not small. True. I forgot my third theory. I have to read it. I wrote them down. There's a lot of theories that, um, oh my God, what's her name from Crescent City? Bryce? Yeah, Bryce and Azriel are like a thing. What do you mean? I saw that on Book Talk. I don't know, like, if it's actually going to be true that they're actually mates. Yeah. And th- that was like the reason a lot of people think that maybe they're actually mates and Hunt is really not. Because everyone like theorizes that he's not the, because he's not the, f- he's the first guy. Mm-hmm. And in all the other series, that guy always loses out. That's true. So and all I- of the theories are like that he's, supposed to be with Bryce I don't know I also I think it's odd that after two books um like two huge books that I don't love Hunt you know I mean, like okay like, yeah but, but I'm not like obsessed like, with him yeah <laughs> it's totally more team rune like I didn't really care about Hunt. <laughs> same here like when his chapters came up of him interacting with Day I was like yes give me more Mm-hmm. I was so bummed at the end when he figured out who she was and he like he knew all this all about her about how she was like a double agent how she was like actually cared and was trying to help people and he still initially was such a dick to her and like blocked her off when he could have been speaking to her mind to mind and like helping the situation when they're with the Asteri but he's like basically no fuck her it's terrible that's another reason that Rune and Rice should be related because they can both read minds. Yeah. I feel like Rune doesn't know all that he can do with that power though. Like how Rhysen can kind of like manipulate people's minds um, mm-hmm. or like see their experiences. I feel like Rune only uses it right now to like talk to people. And I wonder if that's like, I wonder if like Rysen is like, 800 years old and Ron is like 100 like I wonder if he's just younger or I don't know he does spend a lot of time like smoking weed and partying so (laughs) that's very true um third theory is it actually about Hunt I think that he is Apollo Pollyon's son and I also think he's gonna die so Pollyon I know it's been a while for um but he's like the king of the underworld and they mentioned so many times about Rune, or Hun's like questionable background and how they don't know who his father is. So I feel like his father has to be someone um, kind of that will be like a wow moment. But the hellhound who um, is Danica's father and has that ability to where he can like smell lineages, you know, or like scent them. And when he came across Hunt, he was basically like, I've never smelled someone who smelled like you. Like, kind of like what are you he had no idea and so I think he must be from another world they also say that um is he Orion is that his yeah Orion Hunt or yeah yeah so in another book there was an Orion and it came up in that book that his girlfriend kills him in the like original like whatever um constellation orion like his girlfriend kills him or wife i can't remember so So when i read that about the other book i was like oh i wonder if this has to do with hunt too if like bryce has to kill him yeah for like some reason and then maybe she can get with azriel i mean it's gotta be better than his other option (laughs) just gonna say maybe we can like kick the wings of the curve yeah she can marry Tamlin. That's fine. No one cares about that. <laughs> she can marry Tamlin and go grow her flowers in the spring corn. Yeah, like it totally makes more sense for her to be with him than. For sure. No, what was really nice when I was reading these? So I found it surprising that I wrote. So they're like eight hundred page books. I read them in twenty twenty two. And I read them again this year and they were still like binge worthy. I stayed up at night reading them. I'll show you how. Have you ever seen this? I have not. My I have one that like clips to the book. Oh, that's nice. Um, 
for the car. This one goes around your neck. <laughs> and you can like That's adjust nice. it. So like it goes on both like, pages. Paint, the pages. So I would literally, while Ross was watching TV, be reading. And it was really nice because it's not, they have four different settings of brightness, but like um, it wasn't distracting to where like the whole room is dark and I'm reading and he was like distracted watching TV. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I used these for basically a week straight so I could get through, actually two weeks. It did take me about two weeks to get through them again, but I just got them off. Are they, like, are they like rechargeable? Yeah. They've got like a little charging cool. cord. Um, but I'm also pumped to use them on airplanes. I think that would be fun too. Mm -hmm. Like I always feel so bad um, reading on there if it's really dark, because even though the light shines down, I think it must be distracting to other people. And so mm -hmm. this way, it would just be on my neck. I can basically read in any environment. <laughs> How cool. Yeah, that's my new, new favorite reading thing. New yeah, accessory, awesome. reading accessory. That's how you know you're a true book reader when you have accessories. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and it's nice you can like, like this lamp. It has to be on something, but like those you can like sit anywhere. So that's nice. Super nice. Do you read at night when Corey watches TV? Um. Yeah, but we usually have the lights on, so. Yeah, or I'll come up here to the library and read. It's so fun to have a library in the house. I love saying that, like, oh, I'm going to the library. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I usually say, and to read, and then I just leave. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Oh, well, we got to jump to book club. Actually, yep. I will say one more thing really quick about Crescent City in this. Um, there are some parallels between Fourth Wing. That's what we're reading currently in our book club like the shadows kind of remind mm -hmm. me of Azrael and also like uh Dane reminds me so much of Pamlin how he's like subtly kind of a controlling asshole or like, Kale or yeah or like, Kale. protectively <laughs> boring yeah exactly he's it's like also like light in the flame so I'm reading light in the flame and fourth wing I don't know or whatever the new one is fire in the flesh the newest one i can but yeah so they all kind of like I'm like wait which one was that and i have to really think about it for a second because they I are really similar read fa two fantasy books at the same time i know i finished one today so i'm like okay now i can just focus on fourth wing yeah oh my gosh yes we gotta jump i feel like steve's gonna give me so much shit i'm not being late see you in a minute Bye. Bye.